Hello there. Welcome once again yet to another session of Simply Learning. And today we would like to look at factorization. We are going to look at factorization. And the method of factorization you're going to look at is what we call the difference of two squares. Whereby this difference of two squares factorizes terms which are squared and they are subtracting each other. In that way, you will see that the definition can be noted that if I have a squared minus b squared, then this will factorize to a plus b times a minus b. That is what the factorization is all about. Uh, you would also realize that one can also write it like this. If I have a squared minus b squared, I can have it in terms of a minus b times a plus b. You can either start with the subtraction or start with addition. If there are different terms or letters, you can have, for example, x squared minus y squared is equal to x plus y times x minus y. Still, with this, you are looking at what we call the difference between two squares. So straight away, since we are simply learning, let's go for examples and take a look at how we can use this method. So for examples on this method, we can say, if I have, for example, to factorize the following, factorize the expressions, The first expression, Roman one, is if I'm factorizing x squared minus 4y squared. To start with, one needs to know that this is actually x squared minus 2y, but the whole of this is squared. So the entire bracket behaves like one term. So I can now take this to this to behave like a, then the whole of this to behave like b. And for that reason, if they behave like that, then I'll have x squared minus 2y squared is equal to x plus 2y, then times x minus 2y. And that will become our factorization for that term or for that expression. Uh, the second example, I can take a look at on this. If I have p squared minus 16 q squared, then I can write this as p squared minus 4 of q, the whole of this put in a bracket to the square. So that it clearly shows you that you have a difference of two squares. So therefore, this expression can take me to p minus p squared minus 4q to the square is going to be the same as p plus 4q uh, times p minus 4q. And that will become our solution. OK. Uh, another example, if I have Roman 3, remember if you need to understand best these videos, you need to watch them over and over again if you've missed one of the concepts. For example, if I have 81 minus 121 of q to the power 4, check this out. This is the same as writing 9 to the square minus 11 q to the square, but the whole of this now raised to the power 2. So that if these two comes in two brackets, the Q will become power four, then 11 will become 121. So if I factorize this, what will I realize? I will realize nine minus 11 Q squared times nine plus 11 Q squared. In case the 11 was another square number, then you can go and be in position to factorize it further. And then you have whatever you want to have. 
as your solution. Okay. Uh, example four. If I look at example four, example four can take on the form 16 of x to the square, y to the square minus, for example, nine. Then one has to first confirm that this is actually four x y, the whole of this raised to the square minus three raised to the square. So that this can take us to four x y minus three and the brackets four x y plus three. These are all uh, solutions to factorization of terms using the method of what we call the method of difference of two squares. So lastly, we can have an illustration on this. Um, the last example I can give on this can be, if we have, for example, a term like, let me call this example five, we have three minus three F squared. One may wonder, is this a difference of two squares? First of all, there are two common factors, three. So if you factorize out three, you would realize one minus F squared. Now one can be squared, can be cubed, can be raised power, any power, but still you get one. So there is a silent one squared there. So one can write this as three into one squared minus F squared. When you simplify this, you'll get three into one minus f, close brackets, into one plus f. And that's how we can factorize this kind of expression. So lastly, on this one, I can have 100x to the square minus one. Still, this one can be considered having one as a square, which will take us to 100x squared minus one squared. And this would give us 10x, plus one times 10 X minus one. That is how you factorize that expression using what we call the difference of two squares. Since we are simply learning, I need to confirm that you've really learned. So allow me stop here for today and let you have this simple exercise to check it out on your own. Uh, the first number is going to be four D squared minus nine E squared. And the second number can be 81 minus a squared. Then the third number can take on the form x squared, y squared minus z squared. And then the fourth number can take on the shape of p squared, q squared minus nine. I'm still Hamza Rwama who has been taking you on in factorization today. And uh, today we have discussed what we call the difference of two squares. Under factorization, just keep it here. Keep it at Simply Learning. Go like our, our channel, go like our YouTube channel, go like our accounts, subscribe, and share to everyone. Enjoy the mathematics. Have a good day.